Last time on Sailing Kitty Wake, we got back into the boat life in Menorca. In this episode, we make a flopper stopper, go on an amazing sail and seek shelter from 40 knot winds. going on here? So because we've been in a lot of rolly anchorages lately <coughs> and inspired by SV Prism who have a similar sort of boat to us I'm gonna try and make us a flopper stopper. Now the idea behind it is that you suspend it over the side and it stops the boat, boat rolling from side to side in the swell because um, when the boat rolls towards it, it dives, and when the boat tries to pull it up, it goes flat and then kind of resists the boat rolling back upright so that it kind of um, slows or stops the roll of the boat. Um, I'm going to try and make it just out of the bits that we've got on board. This bit of plywood is probably a little bit on the small side for this boat, but We'll try it and then see if it works at all and then we can always use a bigger bit of plywood later or whatever. So I'm going to put this diving weight on one side of it. I'm going to bolt that there and then it's going to have four holes, one in each corner. And from that we're going to pass this rope through, use these washers and then tie a stopper knot. So the plywood is suspended on a kind of bridle, four point bridle, and then we'll lower it over the side, suspend it off the boom, and then lower it down to like two or three metres and then see if it um, has an effect on the rolling of the boat. Help if you weren't rolling. So this is the current rolling before we put the flopper stopper out. I'm going to drop it overboard and then just watch it sink to the bottom of the sea. <laughs> <laughs> don't joke, sweetie, don't joke. <laughs> oh goodness. <laughs> oh goodness. This is recording though. Oh, <laughs> I'll act like a norm. Yeah, act normal. Oh, there he goes, he's sinking. Sinking for sure. So we're going to try and shorten the bridle on the side of the weight because, I don't know, something's not right and that's my gut feeling that we need to shorten that side. <laughs> <laughs> no maths, no geometry, no physics, because at the moment the di diving weight side um, sinks quite a lot. Uh, Ryan has tried to pull it and he said it does offer resistance. So we shall see what happens now. Ah, same problem. <laughs> and so we're just moving the weight nearer to the middle, because at the moment it just dives and sits there, because this end is really buoyant and this end is really heavy 
So I'm hoping that if we have it more, like maybe here, mm. then we'll be able to um, get it so it kind of balances out a bit more. Yeah. And that's a little bit better. With the bridle just on the surface. So it seems to be working because when we are about to roll, the line gets taut. So the flopper stopper's on, we've got the bimini over to give us some shade from the bright sun and we're going to have a barbecue for lunch using the barbecue that Anna's parents got us for Christmas. That's, you can see that behind me here. And that's just heating up at the moment and then we caught a couple of breams well we caught four breams yesterday had two for dinner and then we're gonna have two for lunch as well so that should be pretty tasty and yeah hopefully some veggies or something as well and it's the first day in a while that we've been able to really chill at anchor really because when we were in Poyenza we were so worried about the like steering problem that we were having a bit stressed about sorting that out and testing it and stuff like that and then the last couple of days we've had some really horrible swell coming into the anchorages here on the south side of Menorca but not really the wind to move on to anywhere else all of the anchorages along this coast are kind of open to the southwesterly swell we haven't been sleeping in the v-berth except last night we've been sleeping in the um, saloon on the Useti and the um, sea berth which is a bit better but still it's not super comfy when you're rolling around a lot so hopefully between the drop in the swell and the flopper stopper it should be a lot more comfy I think there's still some improvements to do with the flopper stopper I think um, it's not really diving very quickly so then it takes a while to react to the boat rolling so it's not as effective as it could be but I'm going to do some more research on it and then sort of improve it over time. So that's it really, we're going to chill out and have a barbecue. <laughs> yep. Pick this guy's up some barbecue as well. What's in your marinade? Uh, just lots of uh, different dried herbs, uh, dried garlic and um, salt and obviously oil. Tell oil. <laughs> Tell oil. Pretty good. Still really fresh from last night. It's quite nice. So we have a bit of a heavy weather coming through. I don't know if you can see much. We are in the orange, which means 20-25 um, knots gusting up to 45. And uh, so, yeah, this anchorage isn't super well protected from this direction, which is east, northeast, and southeast. Um, it will change um, in that quadrant uh, mm. within the next sort of five days. Yeah, it's going to last a while. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be a long one. <laughs> um, so. We're going to have to move and try and find protection from this blow and we're not exactly clear where we're going to go. Um, There's no anchorage we've been to on Menorca that will be well protected so we're going to have to find a new one. We're going to try Cala Santandria which yeah. is on the western coast. The western coast is obviously the best bit, best bet as it faces away from the easterly Levanta winds so we'll give that a go and then if not there's there's a few other colors around there but um some of them have got rocky bottoms some of them 
aren't really very well enclosed so or the reviews say um poor holding or uncomfortable in light winds so, so it might take a while to find the right place to go but if not there's always Pienza I could run off downwind to Pienza at some point yeah but that wouldn't be great no because I mean it starts tomorrow just before lunch but it starts quite heavy so we mm. can't just ride the lighter winds back to Mallorca and find protection there it would be it would mean a bit of a, a rough sail um, to run away from the wind that we are running on so yep. yeah so that's the situation we'll <laughs> it's quite a light winds today so we'll probably use the cruising chute to get round to the western side um, hopefully there'll be enough wind to use the cruising chute mm. it's not very far it's only like 10 miles or so but um, yeah, fuel's mm. so expensive around here that we don't really want to use it, use the engine. So, yeah, we'll film the sail obviously and show you guys where we end up. <laughs> don't be a stranger in the night. Take a chance for some romance. Don't copy your It's a really really beautiful morning with light wind with about 10 knots on the beam at the moment and we're doing three knots with the Yankee and mainsail but we have the cruising chute out in case it gets a bit lighter we're more than happy to just sort of uh, ghost along the coast even at two knots um, it's just so pleasant the swell that has been sort of cursing us for the past few days is gone so it's just a very comfortable ride What you want to do? Oh, we're going to try and get the stay sail out. We're on a beam reach, so hopefully we can make the most of our three sails. So, oh, at the moment we're doing 4.3 knots. Mm. We'll see what it does with the stay sail. So we've got 12 to 13 knots of wind.
got a tiny boat speed increase out of it, but not so much because there's not really enough wind for it to make much of a difference. So we're just going past the lighthouse right at the southwestern tip of Menorca and then we're going to turn 90 degrees to starboard and head up to the western coast. So I've just felt the staysail in because we are turning all the way to starboard 90 degrees and that would have, would have meant driving three sails at the same time which we're not hardcore enough for it yet. <laughs> Never tried it before. Are you ready? Yeah. Our first jibe. <laughs> okay, helms over. All right. Yeah, go for it, guys. So we just jibed and now we're about to go past the lighthouse heading north. Um, we might get blasted by the wind a little bit because um, it's a headland and the wind's coming right up the south side of the island but we'll keep an eye on it and then ease the sheets if it gets a bit much. But it shouldn't be too bad because the headland's very low lying so hopefully it won't squeeze the wind loads and there'll still be plenty of wind once we get up past um, the headland and we're going up the west coast. We had a look at the anchorage but even from far away it didn't look good. It's a bit of a shame but it's uh, way too small this uh, colour. So we didn't feel much of that because it was a bit stressful. It was a tiny tiny very narrow colour and as soon as we got close I, <laughs> I decided that there was no way we could get in and there was a buoy in the middle and an islet on the other side and I just had to sort of give quite a few revs to the engine to turn the boat around. <clears throat> anyway, now we have reassessed the situation. So this color isn't much smaller than the next color along, which was our second option. So we're going to have to go for our third option because, um, I mean, the other one seems to have not great holding according to the reviews. So we're going to go on the northern side of Menorca still northwest but um, it means going around the island and see how that is how that anchorage is so we're gonna try that maybe spend the night and then once we know how it is in this decent breeze today we make, can make a decision whether to stay there or run for Mallorca tomorrow when the winds aren't dangerous they should be just hefty winds which would make for a fun fast ride so we reached the uh, northwestern coast and the wind is from the east so we are just tucking up to our anchorage now So we're just coming into our anchorage now. It's been a bit wild on this north coast in terms of the weather. It's been 20 knot headwinds. Um, we did a bit of tacking around and now we're close in enough that we can um, just motor in. We're, we're getting a bit of protection from the land so the waves are calmed down a bit and we're just motoring the final stretch. It's looking pretty spectacular in there. Um, there's a bit of a question about whether it'll have any internet which might be a bit tricky for us but um, yeah it looks like a good place to wait out these easterlies and at the moment there's an easterly blowing and there's a bit of chop so we should be able to tell 
by what it's like in there, whether or not we think any swell will be able to come into the bay. Um, we'll get in there and then anchor and then assess the situation. We're just coming into the bay and so far it looks like a winner. Super calm in here, smooth water and stunning landscape. How many meters did you put out? So it's about 25 meters out. And we're in 4.2 meters? Yeah, so plus one that leads to the bow roller. Um, so yeah, scope of one in five. We could put out more. Um, I just want to join this to the chain so that I know that the chain connection is good. Um, just as an extra safety thing. And then we're going to jump in the dinghy and go probably go see the anchor to make sure it's well dug in and take some depths to make sure we're not in anywhere where we could swing around and then nudge against the sand or anything like that. I think we're good. I think this is an excellent anchorage. Well, the water never disappoints in the Balearics. <laughs> so stunning. was a lot of measuring. We're all good. Here you go. What have we got? Um, it's a curry with onion, potato and green beans, the stuff that is going off, <laughs> mm -hmm. and rice. Thanks very much. Worse. So I'm not sure you'll ever find this dish in a recipe book. <laughs> I definitely never heard of it before, but this is what we had to, well, that was expiring soon and we're not going to a supermarket anytime soon. So I just uh, sort of chucked it together and made this curry and it's actually quite nice. And when you leave at anchor quite a lot and you can't go shopping um, every week or even every few days, you just have to get a little bit creative and sometimes the recipes that come out of expiring food actually stick. So as it's a pretty windy day here and we're just sat at anchor and we don't really want to leave the boat, we're just making the most of the time to do some editing. So we're catching up with a few videos of the boat refit at the moment. Um, yeah, it's pretty stable even though it's pretty windy, so quite happy here. between the bow roller and the um, bridle attachment. The boat was swinging around so much because it's so gusty that um, when it gets caught side on, it would swing so far that the chain was still interfering with the bobstay. So I've just slackened it off even more and let it out until it's rope. So we've got a part chain, part rope road, which in this situation is actually pretty good because it means that the chain won't um, interfere with the bobstay, but the slack rope could so we've just let it weigh out if we needed to pick up the chain in a hurry with the bridle still on i could still pull it up and then get the chain onto the gypsy on the windlass so it's not really less safe it's fine but it's just something we're learning about this boat in these sorts of conditions the spray hood does an amazing job it's actually really comfortable sat here it like you hardly get any breeze at all because you're right underneath it's almost like being inside um, and then you pop your head up and you get blasted by the uh, the gusts 
but at least out here you can just kind of sit and keep an eye on stuff and make sure our boats around are all right and we're all right and just see what's going on with the conditions really. So we're steady on the 30s but occasionally we get a 40 knot gust. Well not that occasionally <laughs> but every few minutes. Here it goes again. Maybe less than a few minutes. <laughs> that was all within 10 seconds. Thanks for watching. These videos are made possible by our amazing patrons. Thanks guys! Join the crew from $1 per month to get access to extra content. Join us next time as the wind turns 180 degrees in our anchorage and we end up on a lee shore in 30 knots of wind.